it's Rachel here from the Music and Gospel Arts Department and in this video I'm going to share with you some tips and tricks to think about now that you're probably recording piano from home for your worship service. So let's say you want to record from home and all you have is a phone. This is a great place to start. The first thing that you need to think about is just to try and find a time that's relatively quiet. I live on a busy street so that makes it pretty challenging, but trying to block out any extra noise is a great first step. The next thing you want to think about is the distance between the recording device itself and your instrument. Sometimes on social media you see people that just kind of prop up their phone on the edge of the instrument, which I can't do on this digital keyboard, but on an acoustic instrument you could just prop your phone right here so you get a visual of the hands and the sound is really close because the recording device is right here. You probably want to aim for about four feet between the phone which is recording you and the instrument itself to get the best audio that you can. There are a few apps that you can buy in the App Store, which will help you to manipulate the audio and video settings to make your video and audio better. The first one is called Filmic Pro. It's $20.99 in the App Store, which may seem a little bit expensive, but if you're using it regularly over the next little while, you'll definitely get your money's worth out of it. It allows you to manipulate the video settings, but also the audio settings, which is really important. That way you can avoid any kind of peaking or poor quality of sound. There's also another app called Record Pro Video Camera and it's a little bit cheaper. It's $5.49 in the App Store, but you can investigate this um, as a way to also find something that's a little bit cheaper that still allows you to manipulate the video and audio settings to suit what you need. Phone microphones do the job, but they don't provide the best sound quality. Here's an example of a really good microphone that you could purchase that will plug directly into your phone and give you a much better sound quality. As well, they also offer a kit that comes with a tripod and a phone clamp for an entire package. The camera angle of your video is also very important. Make sure that they can see you and see your face, they can see the instrument, and they can also see your hands. Another thing that I find very helpful is to play to and click track. My keyboard will allow me to play the metronome as I'm recording and it won't pick up the metronome sound. But if you're at home, you can just use a metronome on your phone and use your earbuds so that it doesn't pick up any of the noise in the room. Using a click track is super helpful to keep you in time, but it's also very helpful if there are other musicians who are recording their parts to a song at home, and the end goal is that all of those parts need to come together to create one song. It's very helpful for whoever is putting it together to have everyone record to a click track so that everything lines up. Now let's talk about some of the considerations that we need to think about when accompanying congregational singing and not doing it live in person. So for the purposes of this video, I'm going to use the tune, Now Thank We All Our God. I like to have the music and the words right here beside, so I know how many verses I need to record, but also so that I can follow the lyrics and sing along in my head while I'm playing. The reason why this is so important is because we still need to think about the phrasing for people that will be singing from home. And it's actually harder to do when you're not in person and people aren't really singing along. So you have to plan it out in advance and think about it as you're playing. Here's an example using the tune, Now Thank We All Our God. I'm going to play an introduction which just helps set up the song for the people at home who want to sing. And then I'm just going to highlight the areas where naturally they need to take a breath. So the piano who's recording the accompaniment needs to do the same thing.
Thanks for tuning into this video about recording piano from home. I hope all of the information is helpful to you and if you need any further assistance, please reach out to us in the music department.